Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Since its inception in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has well and truly exceeded expectations. Last week, NASA's technological marvel has discovered the farthest known active supermassive black hole. Stay with us till the end as we tell you all about this 570 million years old ancient black hole. Housed inside the Sears 1019 galaxy, the potent JWST discovered the black hole that existed little over 570 million years after the Big Bang. The evidence of the supermassive black hole was presented by Stephen Finkelstein of the University of Texas at Austin at Webb's Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, also known as Sears Survey. In order to make this discovery, the Sears program used Webb to merge images of the early universe taken in the near and mid-infrared with data taken at other light wavelengths along the spectral data. Researchers were quite surprised by looking at this distant object with Webb telescope as the results were quite similar to the data from black holes found in galaxies near our own. Webb's data is virtually bursting with accurate information, which makes it so simple to extrapolate these findings from the data. With so many spectral lines to examine, observing this far-off object with the telescope is similar to studying data from black holes found in nearby galaxies. The team was able to distinguish which emissions in the spectrum came from the black hole and which ones came from its host galaxy. They were able to determine how much gas the black hole was consuming and how quickly its host galaxy formed stars. Scientists discovered that Sears 1019 does not appear as a single circular disk, but rather as three brilliant clusters. This indicates that the black hole in the galaxy may be partially fueled by a galaxy merger, which may also result in more star creation. It is worth mentioning that this specific black hole is far smaller than previous black holes found in the early cosmos by other observatories with a mass of only around 9 million times that of the Sun. The black hole in Sears 1019 resembles the black hole in the center of our Milky Way galaxy more closely than it does the Sun, which has a mass of 1.6 million times that of the Sun. The black hole was also found to be less visible than other enormous black holes that have been found in the past. This is particularly strange specifically because Sears 1019 was formed not long after the universe's creation, making it much older than most black holes. Quite understandably, there are some difficulties in understanding how this black hole originated so soon after the universe's creation. Moreover, it is quite right that smaller black holes may have existed in the early universe, but as we are just discovering them with the help of Webb, it is quite difficult to make sense of them. The research team also discovered that Sears 1019 is producing new stars and consuming as much gas as it can. Not only this, but the research team also discovered two other black holes using JWST. The first was present barely 1.1 billion years after the Big Bang and is situated within the galaxy Sears 2782. The second was present 1 billion years after the Big Bang in the galaxy Sears 746. These two black holes are lightweight in comparison to other supermassive black holes at these distances. These black holes only have a mass of 10 million times that of our Sun. Interestingly enough, all three of these dark holes were too dim to be seen before James Webb Telescope. Using Webb, the scientists also discovered 11 galaxies that were there when the universe was only 470 to 675 million years old. Despite quickly generating stars, they are not as chemically loaded as galaxies closer to us. According to researchers, the information provided by Webb on the earliest galaxies may alter how astronomers perceive star formation and galaxy evolution. Up until now, most early universe object research has been speculative. However, in addition to seeing them at great distances with the help of JWST, we can now begin to precisely measure black holes and galaxies. In addition to assisting in the finding of black holes and far-off galaxies, the James Webb Telescope is also helping to make accurate measurements possible, validating and improving scientific estimates.
The JWST is using infrared light to examine the entire evolution of the universe. The primary mirror on this observatory, which has a 6.5 meter diameter, is regarded as the largest in the world, which is playing its due role in helping us understand our origins and our place in the universe. Furthermore, Webb allows us to see more precisely and at longer distances than ever before. In the future, the information gathered by Webb might help us understand how early black holes emerged, which might result in changes to the models that currently explain how black holes develop and evolve throughout the first few hundred million years of the universe. It is worth mentioning that JWST's sensitivity to infrared radiation is the real game changer. The space telescope can see wavelengths between 0.6 to 28.5 micrometers spanning the mid-infrared to red end of the visible spectrum. Just to put all of this into perspective, NASA's Hubble telescope was capable of recording radiation from 0.09 micrometers in the ultraviolet to 2.5 micrometers in the near-infrared, with the majority of its sensitivity focused on visible light. So, by using the infrared spectrum of JWST, astronomers can observe galaxies that formed fewer than a billion years after the Big Bang. According to current light emissions, the ancient supermassive black hole Sears 1019 is aggressively consuming materials around it. Black holes like this one, which are swirls of falling gas and dust in circle-feeding black holes known as accretion disks. This matter is heated by the black hole's gravitational pull, which makes the disk glow brightly. In addition, strong magnetic fields draw matter to the black hole's poles, where it is considered ejected in twin jets traveling almost as fast as light, producing extremely bright light. This means if the black hole's powerful radiation is observed more closely, it might be possible to learn more about the host galaxy's mysterious past and how swiftly it is expanding. These observations are simply the survey's initial groundbreaking results. Up until now, most early universe object research has been speculative, but the world is now changing and we can now begin to precisely measure black holes and galaxies. All in all, this discovery opens up new avenues for research into how enormous galaxies and supermassive black holes emerged so quickly from the Big Bang. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, show some love and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.